Hello, and welcome to ABO News. Anita Blackman. We interrupt this telecast for a special news report. Here I am, broadcasting live from our nation's capital for this to be an historic moment. Seems we're about to call the election. <laughs> Kevin Rudd has lost. I repeat, Kevin Rudd has lost. So too is Malcolm Turnbull. Well, I'll be. Both major parties have been tumbled in a landslide victory by none other than... Balapan Kwabinyan. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, we usher in a new era. Australia's first Indigenous Prime Minister. And now cross live to Parliament Tent to hear his acceptance yarn. My fellow citizens, I stand here before you on this day today humble. In my Armani suit that I picked up from Savers on Sydney Road for $29.95. <laughs> You just got to know where to look, brother. <laughs> and a plan, a plan that will take us forward as an island continent. To all of you who voted, <laughs> I applaud you for getting off your mums and making your vote count. This is your victory, Australia. This is the change Australia has chosen. It warms my heart to think how far we have come as a nation. And to be honest, when I found out the election results, it shot the shit right out of me. <laughs> Currently in this country, sociological stats are reaching tragic levels. 75% of Australians over the age of 18 see their parents once every two years. And some have never met an auntie or an uncle. Preferred method of communication is via email or an SMS text. I caught up with Auntie Mavis in her nursing village and she tells me that she is happy to speak with her children as long as she doesn't have to see the cunts. <laughs> Quote, Unquote. As the 27th Prime Minister, the first Indigenous Australian to lead this government and the best and fairest award winner at the National Aboriginal Football Carnival. You remember that, brother, eh? <laughs> I can promise you one thing. In addition to working together on the environment, the economic crisis and improving home and away, we will stand strong and work together on closing the gap between parents and their children. <laughs> From this day forward, nursing villages will be abolished. Childcare centres will be closed. School boarding houses will be eradicated. Your space and my face will be shut down. <laughs> We will bring these families closer together, whether they like it or not. Parents will maintain precious relationships with their siblings so that your children may come to know and love their extended families, even if they are dickheads. <laughs> if you do not have extended family, an Aboriginal family will be allocated to you. <laughs> Families will learn to share houses, cars, even money. Particularly when you know you will never see it again. <laughs> and in the true spirit of reconciliation, every family will be required to have an Aboriginal friend over for dinner once a month to address any issues of guilt. If you do not have guilt, some will be allocated to you. <laughs> From the dark days of the past to the light years of the now, I am proud to call myself an Australian. I was approached by a young man on my way here tonight and he asked me a question. Mr. Barb and Quabinyan, <laughs> Can you fix it? And Balap and Kopanyan replied, 
Yes, we can. <laughs> and that young man asked Mr. Bullock and Corbin Young, can you really fix it? And Bullock and Corbin Young replied, yes, we can. Bullock and Corbin Young, can you fix it? Bullock and Corbin Young, yes, we can. Bullock and Corbin Young, can you fix it? Bullock and Corbin Young, yes.